Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here with a new Advent uh, video. A friend of mine said to me, I really like the little videos that you've been doing, but what about people who don't know what Advent is? And sometimes for people who, like me, who were, was a late, late cover to the church calendar, um, leaving more sort of non-denominational Christianity behind and coming into something a little bit more traditional, I had to kind of learn these things for myself. And sometimes we forget that there are other brothers and sisters that don't follow the church calendar that may not know what some of these holidays are or what some of these holy days are and what they mean. So he said, well, what about just explaining really quick what Advent is? And so the long and short of it is, and not to get into too much historical, uh, historical you know, minutia because I want to kind of keep these short and watchable, um, Advent, what it has developed into is the the... the hope for Christ's coming, right? So you have the hope of Christ's coming uh, as prophesied to the people of Israel, the people of God. Uh, and we see this like reflected in the Old Testament passages that we read during Advent. And then we also see passages uh, for Christ's coming again, right? So as Christians, we, you know, we confess in the, in the various creeds of the church, you know, that in some way, shape or form that Christ will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. So we are in Advent season. It is a traditionally a time of, of, of penitence. It's a time of self-reflection and prayer and fasting uh, as we prepare our hearts, uh, placing ourselves with the people of God then and now as they awaited Christ's coming back then and as we await uh, his coming uh, in our own day and time. And that's basically the, the nuts and bolts of what Advent is. And there's different ways that it's, it's celebrated. Uh, I would encourage you, you know, maybe just jump online real quick and, and, and look and see other you know, Advent wreaths and lighting of candles and scripture readings focusing on Jesus coming again. You know, there's also there's a focus in Advent as well about his coming again in judgment uh, at the end of time. Uh, and then that gives way through to Christmas and then we celebrate the season of Christmas, not just on December 25th, but all the way to Epiphany, which I believe is on January 6th. So Advent uh, and Christmas. And Advent is Latin, I believe, for coming, which is the Greek translation of the word parousia, which is the word used to describe Christ's return in glory. So those two themes uh, pop up during Advent. And sometimes there's a focus on you know, hope, joy, peace, and love. Uh, and then there's also... Uh, reflections on the story, the, the people in the, in the story, but probably the best way to sum up Advent would be that that beautiful hymn, "O Come, O Come, Emmanuel," and ransom captive Israel who mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice! Emmanuel will come to you, O Israel. May you have a blessed Advent, a penitent Advent, and a Merry Christmas.